My name's Brianna and I was born with biliary atresia, which has led me to receive a liver transplant. When I was born, they knew that there was going to be nothing else that they could do to save me that didn't include, I guess, a liver transplant. So it just meant that I had to live in pretty much chronic liver failure until it got to the worst point and I couldn't live anymore and needed a transplant. I was in hospital a lot, appointments every couple of weeks, bloods every couple of weeks, on 40 plus medications a day. My mum tried her best to try and make me feel like I was a normal kid, but obviously that was not the truth. I wasn't really able to play sport with kids. I missed about three or four years of schooling. Hospital stays a lot. I was very, very vulnerable to all kinds of illnesses. I ended up getting like two infections at once at one point and being in hospital for over three months. And yeah, just always visiting the doctor, kind of always on edge, I guess, of when it was gonna get to the peak point of like, I can't you know, live like this anymore. I have to have my transplant. It was a pretty dramatic change. Um, I went from like my colouring being different and like, you know, going from being malnourished to like a lot healthier and happier. And I guess even just in like my joy of being able to be, I guess, capable again, people like didn't really recognise me because it was just such a dramatic change of just, yeah, how I was even just appearing. It has completely turned my life around. I was able to finish school like a normal child. Um, I've entered uni, studying, working, seeing my friends, just being a normal <laughs> like teenager, just doing whatever I, like I can, I guess, and not being restricted like I was previously. It's really hard to put into words what you would say to a donor because how could you, I guess, thank somebody for pretty much giving you your life? I don't even think thank you would be like enough to explain the gratitude um, that like myself and I know other recipients would hold for the gift that they have, I guess, given. So yeah. Registering is important because it helps solidify your decision on how you feel about organ donation and that you would want to pursue it or I guess not, that's your decision, but that helps medical professionals and anyone else understand that that is what you would like to do. To anyone that is like considering organ and tissue donation, I would strongly recommend that they do their research, look into it, talk to any necessary people, um, consider it with their family, because it is definitely something that can really have like a large impact on another individual who's seriously struggling. <laughs>